is UCS 56 D2, which is a requirement about the post weld heat treatment. Okay, you consider this is the 1200 degree Fahrenheit, uh, is our uh, PWHD temperature holding time. So we need to reach to that temperature. Normally, you can go from the zero, uh, I mean, it's not a zero room temperature, 50, 60 to the 800 degree Fahrenheit for, from the 800 degree Fahrenheit to the 1200 or 1100 if it's a holding a temperature then you can't go uh, fast it's it requires to go with the, some rate so that's rate is going to be indicated in the next but what it is that's the for uh, for hitting time and for hitting time when you want to reach from the 800 to the 1200 or 1100 which is a holding temperature for this they're going to be thermometer is just going to be used for a very delicate welding on the part of the pressure vessel which is, is monitors this uh, the, the temperature because it should be kind of a very consistent the, the thermometer reading so should be uniform all the heating of the body of the pressure vessel should be uniform and the code on the UCS 56D2 says shouldn't be two point with the, in any 15 feet have a more than 250 degree Fahrenheit difference on heating process. So when I'm going from the 800 degree Fahrenheit to the 1100 degree Fahrenheit and there is a thermometer uh, contacted to the this pressure vessel welded to the pressure vessel and we in the control room we are watching those thermometer readings we shouldn't find any two thermometer which they are installed in 15 feet indicating more than you know a difference more than 250 degree Fahrenheit the whole process is that we hit this pressure vessel up with the, a uniform hitting rate the next requirement is UCS 56 D2 again heating rate 400 degree Fahrenheit per hour per inch is going to be our hitting rate it talks about the after 800 degree fahrenheit this is the reason is that the, the, this is the heat treatment furnaces you know they they work and they pull out the things from the previous order and they put the new pressure vessel and they don't need to cool it to the room temperature they can bring it down when the it's it's working actually to the 800 degree fahrenheit and the new vessel can go inside and uh, start the heating up from the 800 degree Fahrenheit to the 1000 or 1200 degree Fahrenheit whatever it is the holding temperature and can, can go there but the rate is going to be 400 degree Fahrenheit per hour per inch so if there's a one inch wall thickness pressure vessel the heating rate is going to be 400 degree Fahrenheit per uh, hour so it means I, I should go from the 800 degree Fahrenheit to the 1200 degree Fahrenheit in one hour based off the this 400 degree Fahrenheit per hour requirement and UCS 56 D3 is talks about the soaking time and says no uh, uh, shouldn't be more than 100 degree Fahrenheit between the hottest and call this point like I said they're gonna be a little welding of the thermometer on the body of this and this goes to the control room and then we can we can see in a real time what is the temperature this thermocouple thermocouple readings from the body of the dispersion vessel so obviously one of them is going to show the lowest one of them showing the hottest one and for whole pressure vessel Whatever we can see on these thermometers they are reading shouldn't be more than 150 degree Fahrenheit uh, difference between the hottest point and coldest point. Okay, this was another requirement. UCS 56 D4, avoid excessive oxidation. This is another requirement. It means the heat should be go uniform around the pressure vessel to avoid any excessive oxidation on any local area on pressure vessel uw 40 a 2 is minimum overlap 50 five, 5 feet it means if you are having a furnace uh, uh, for heat treatment and we're having a, a tall pressure vessel and we put half of the pressure vessel inside and it's not going to be fit the whole pressure vessel and then 
when the pressure vessel is completed for the half of the pressure vessel we're going to pull out and put the other side in then the overlap should be five feet this was a code requirement another requirement is on ucs 56 d5 it talks about the cooling rate we talked about the heating rate 400 degree fahrenheit per hour per inch for cooling rate is a 500 degree fahrenheit uh, per hour per inch and normally how you can calculate divided by the nominal thickness to the 800 degree fahrenheit and when you reach to the 800 degree fahrenheit from 1200 or if there's a 1100 then you can cool it down to the steel air next ucs 56 d5 after 800 degree fahrenheit can be cooled on a steel air i mentioned that now ucs uh, 56 for heat treatment that discuss we are going to have an example so we are having a, a pressure vessel heavy wall pressure vessel with 3.25 inch we want to see what is going to be our heating rate so consider the the furnace is 800 degree Fahrenheit we put our pressure vessel inside now we'll see what is our rate should be with the wall thickness of 3.25 inch to reach 1100 or 1200 which is a normal stress, uh, stress relief or PWHD uh, temperature for carbon steel hitting rate as you can see in the screen is uh, you know 400 degree Fahrenheit I divide that to 3.25 and then I get the 120 degree Fahrenheit it means I should in any hour in any hour with this wall thickness what is the wall thickness 3.25 inch I should go up 123 degree okay from 800 degree Fahrenheit up to 923 uh, 923 degree Fahrenheit I it should take almost one hour until I go with this rate to reach to the 1100 or 1200 whatever it is on UCS 56 tables What's going to be cooling rate? The same things, 100 uh, degree Fahrenheit divided by 3.25, and our uh, we have to reduce the the, the temperature 153 uh, degree per each hour. Next, I put in a screen the UCS 56 tables, which is indicates what is the you know P numbers. P numbers represent the material. We're going to review on the section nine and you know the p number one normally indicates the carbon steel and you can see the holding time and temperature for example for a nominal uh, normal holding temperature is 1100 degree fahrenheit and then up to the two inch one hour per inch 15 minute minimum and for other wall thicknesses you can see we are having a different uh, value so this is a table that we normally be used for post wealthy treatment holding time and holding temperature mandatory on the following condition for welded joint over one and a half inch nominal thickness and it means for welded joint over it means if your wall thickness is over one and a half inch you need to perform uh, post wealthy treatment for p number one and for welded joints over one and a quarter inch to the one and a half, half inch nominal thickness unless preheat is applied at the minimum temperature of 200 degree Fahrenheit during the welding there is a there's a bonus in here okay it says now if you are one and a quarter inch to the one and a half inch you don't have to do the perform uh, to uh, the, the heat treatment if you do the preheat to the 200 degree Fahrenheit actually based off this I wish the you know the B was come first and then A came uh, next but they put it in this way it means post voltage treatment is a mandatory requirement when your thickness is over one and quarter inch but it's giving you a kind of a you know here a bonus and say but if you do the post uh, the pre preheat up to 200 degree Fahrenheit then then you can you know uh, then you can uh, avoid doing the you know uh, post volt heat treatment and uh, with pre preheat is going to be okay. But after the one and a half inch, there is a, there is a no way to not do the post volt heat treatment, and you have to perform the post volt heat treatment even you do the preheat. So between one and quarter inch to the one and a half inch, you perform the preheat. 
you don't need to perform PWHD. So obviously this is for P number one as you can see in the screen. Example, we are having a pressure vessel with a wall thickness of the 3.25 inch and then we wanted to see what is going to be our holding time. Okay, it says the 2.3125 hours for 3.25 inch. Now explains how it's calculated 2.3125 hours. It says 2 hours for 2 inch based off the table plus 15 minutes for 1 inch and 3.75 minutes for quarter inch. So total going to be 2 hour and 18.75 minutes. So if you convert 18.75 minutes uh, to the hour, then the total is going to be 2 hour point three one twenty five hour is going to be our holding time at 1100 for a, a pressure vessel with the wall thickness of 3.25 inch if you make a little bit math in here you can calculate that as well